first off, thank you so much for bringing such like an amazing follow-up to the classic Christmas movie that we all love. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, what was your best Christmas present uh, since the Red Rider air rifle? Yeah. Well, I was lucky. I got to keep that from the set. Really? They gave me one with a plaque on it, so That's I still so cool. have it. It was kind of hard to top that gift, mm -hmm. but you know, embarrassingly. I think my most coveted gift was a metal detector. <laughs> Those things you sweep on the ground, I thought I was gonna find buried treasure. Uh, and that never happened, so. Can always dream. <laughs> can always dream. You are right about that. Yeah. So was it more fun to work on a set like based in the 40s or the 70s? Well, 70s is pretty cool. Um, I mean, I think as kids, the 40s was fun because the cars were old. They were able to source a lot of those. I think the great thing about both of them is there's no cell phones. So you can have scenes where kids are just out playing. You can have plot devices where people can't get a hold of each other, which is fun. So I, I love doing period movies, I think, for those reasons. And plus just the costumes in the 70s are period that sort of loved and hated both the yeah. flashy colors the <laughs> sort of brightness the size of the colors we had a lot of discipline in this one but we show off a little bit yeah honestly i think it is also really fun to you know explore a time that's different than we're all familiar to especially kids because seeing kids and you know different time periods is always really interesting because it's so different yeah for sure and i think like the things that you did what the toys were how you played mm -hmm. how you dealt with things how you even communicated it just kind of makes the storytelling a little bit richer and gives you more options. It does. So, you know, uh, there were a lot of iconic things in this movie. So what was it like to revive some of those iconic moments from the original movie? It was fun. I think also, you know, you want to be careful. You want to be disciplined to not solely rely on that, right? It'd be easy to go back to just the gags. But we knew there was some stuff that fans wanted to see. So, you know, the bunny suit makes a small appearance. <laughs> makes a very minimal cameo, I would say, uh, and a couple of others as well. And if you stay through the credits in the movie, you'll see there's some, we kind of show you some things that we also lined up. Yeah, I think it's really great because you, you don't rely completely on the original, right. but you can still, you know, have like those little gags. Yeah, I think it's fun. And I think also, you know, in, in some ways, the fun callbacks for the characters and where are they now? Yeah. What's the dynamic between Flick and Schwartz? probably pretty similar yeah. you know when your kids like that and your friends and you have that dynamic it often stays throughout life yeah so you brought back like a lot of the original cast so what yeah. was it like to reunite after all those years it was so cool it was really important to us to bring the entire original kid cast back it was something that you know i don't think if we could have done that we would have wanted to move forward with the movie and so fun to think about okay where's scott farkas now yeah. like i said where's flicking schwartz where's randy mm -hmm. you know at these times in their lives where's grover dill uh, and so it was a lot of fun, and fun for them to have a chance to weigh in in terms of who their who their characters were. For sure, it, I, I always enjoy like seeing movies where they have like a sequel. Maybe it's far farther in the future, but you see the same characters. Yeah, we might we might have broken the record on this one in 39 years. I don't know yeah. what's been longer with the same cast. It's been so long. Yeah. yeah. And so we were speaking of you know iconic things uh, earlier. So. You know, do you happen to own like uh, the leg lamp or like the bunny suit? And then, did you drink Ovaltine at the craft services? Um, well, yes. Yeah. So I was lucky that my mom kept some memorabilia from the movie. Yeah. So I actually do have the bunny suit. It was the only one ever made. It's in a humidity-controlled oh. vault because yeah. it's actually now become valuable. But at the time, nobody knew. Yeah. Um, I don't think there was any Ovaltine on the set. No, we never <laughs> saw it. I was more of a YooHoo kid, I think, growing mm -hmm. up and like a Nestle Quick. Yeah. And of course, a Hershey syrup. Yeah. And then finally, is Christmas your favorite holiday? It, well, yeah, Christmas and Fourth of July, <laughs> but Christmas nudges it out a little bit. I just love it. I love just that feeling you get on Christmas morning. There's kind of nothing like it. And I think yeah. as tough as the lead up can be to it or things going wrong, there's just something magical about Christmas Day. Mm. Christmas is just so magical. It and is. this movie really captures it. it, you know? Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, Appreciate well, thank it. you so much for talking thank with me. Thank you for the time. It's great to yeah, meet you. Yeah, pleasure to meet you, too. Yeah. Thank you. You bet. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks.